Hello there, welcome back to ArachnaTube. I would like to show you the uh, one of the most interesting things uh, that uh, arachnids do, and these are scorpions. So these are the uh, Tyrellia, Chirellius variegatus, so the matte black uh, Java scorpions, little pygmy uh, scorpions there uh, from the uh, Java oils of Indonesia. Um, I've had a pair of them, so a male and female pair. They've been living together for about a year. And about two, three weeks ago, I noticed, I wanted to change some uh, spot maintenance and change some waters, and I noticed that the female was then munching down on the male. And I was like, oh man, what? what's going on? But two, three weeks later, uh, I found out the reason why. So um, she's given birth to a lot of young and uh, what happens with scorpions if you don't know they basically when they give birth they give birth to live young and then those live young then climb up onto the mother's back and that's where they stay then for about three to four weeks uh, hardening up until they start to leave the mother's back uh, and looking for their own little bits of food she can sometimes pre-kill um, some like large, larger insects and she tears them up and then the little scorpions then eat, eat those or they find little things on their own and they sometimes they keep coming back onto the mother's back for a while later but at that point you've got to try and um, separate them because eventually the mum gets pissed off or whatever and starts to eat them so um, I want to show you them in that tub over there now there's uh, quite a bit of like um, uh, mold really I'm sure it is around the sides and stuff because like I keep them very damp but she needs uh, to have everything changed but I want can't change the substrate or I can't swap her out into another enclosure until the the babies leave so uh, bear that in mind um, and yeah let's have a quick look so shh we're gonna have a nosy at mammy about the place. It's got to be under this one. Ah, look at that. So there she is. Oh, they are starting to darken a little bit since I saw them last. It was literally just a couple of days ago. And there's bags of them on there. And she is literally just the size of my thumb. So you can imagine how small they are. I love them. Look at that. I can't even count them, there's so many. And it's an incredible kind of um, survival skill, isn't it? You know, you've got a mom who's like a tank, so um, while you're small and you're soft and you're really vulnerable, you sit on her back and let her protect you. And well, she's not going to move about very much. Because, you know, can you imagine the weight of that as well on you? I know scorpions are really strong for, the, for their body size. But that's got to be a bit cumbersome, isn't it? It's just time to hide underneath a rock or a bit of cork bark until you, uh, until you can, when you're, when you're young, decide to go. That's cool. Amazing parental uh, kind of instinct on that, isn't it? Wicked. Let's put it back. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's a really, really interesting trait um, that they do. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, um, the first time you notice it, it is like, whoa, what's happened? It's just, uh, it's really cool. And they all <laughs> glow into UV light as well, which is pretty cool. I should have showed you that, but I didn't. Uh, second part, I put some photos on Instagram of the, um, uh, what the fuck are they called? The uh, Bombina Orienta Orientalis, or the, uh, uh, what the hell are they? Uh, Firebelly toads, that's it. They're not actually toads, they're frogs. Um, but they're, com they're commonly called fire belly toads. Um, so yeah, I remember I made a video a long time ago and I had that foam 
uh, bits and people were saying like oh it's not going to work well I'll, I'll show you what's happened since next is the bombina oh, this is the uh, fire belly toads which are not toads which are frogs frog frogs I was going to hit the camera they are really super funny I absolutely love these guys there's still loads in there there's one really fat one as well, which is, uh, I'm trying to like, let the others eat, because it seems to be a bit bigger, it overpowers them a little bit. They're awesome. Right, that's what I was talking to you about. Um, that is just literally a few layers uh, of aquarium foam stuck together. And then I bought uh, these are aquarium kind of seeds like aquarium grass seeds on eBay and I just covered them in it and they have gone completely bonkers and obviously the duckweed when you put duckweed into anything you'll never get rid of it well chuffed about these guys they are awesome still yet to have the really red underbelly but i'll come later i suppose and <laughs> just see his eyes <laughs> funny little bastards funny fuckers and we've had more things happening as well um, so this is the enclosure of the Cytala Horrida and I got these as nymphs from Steve Thornton from Tarantulatastic Enclosures um, you will probably all know Steve um, the guy that makes the horror hides uh, horror enclosures and stuff they're wicked um, so they were adults now I've taken some photos and put them on social media so um, you know you can see they look awesome big red and black things and they're absolutely lethal when it comes to hunting their prey um, I've been finding, well, one of them has got to be a female because I'm finding eggs throughout it. Let's have a look. And this then is the um, Cytala Horrida um, enclosure. Damp substrate. Uh, let's see if we can... You don't really don't want to get uh, bitten by these guys. They've got an awful bite in them. So I want to be extra careful. Alright, let's just move this around. I tell you what I'll do, I'll do it that way. There they are, look. And you can see them living with dozens of uh, isopods. I'm going to be careful because that one's going around the back and I don't want it to go on my hand. Right, I'll just put that down for a second. Right, and now I know in the bottom uh, right of your screen here. Now I know this is a female, right? I'm, the reason why I know this is a female, well, I suspect it's a female, is because uh, right underneath where she is, I'll put her back exactly where she was in a sec. Rather, sand. So directly underneath where she was there. That's a bit of mud there, look. Let's uh, see if I can. That is an egg. That's awesome. Now, um, a friend of mine, David Dunn, some House of Bugs. I'll put that back in there, where it was. Uh, yeah, a friend of mine, David Dunn, some House of Bugs, has informed me that, obviously, if you're finding eggs on the surface, there's bound to be some underneath as well. And I'm just keeping this enclosure now really nice and moist so that the eggs don't hatch out. And in about six weeks, I should have bags and bags of nymphs. But they are damn cool, man. One of my favourite bugs. Well, coming from my finger, I put it, put it down and I put it back exactly where she was. 
because she was obviously... <laughs> she's right touched my finger then. Never mind. So thank you for joining me. Uh, so I've been Gar, a rock the tube. Uh, if you like what I do, please hit that like button. Uh, make sure uh, if you're visiting and you like it, subscribe, because there's a lot of people just visiting, not subscribing so much. So yeah. Uh, thank you everyone for um, my loyal followers and a few of you who are religiously commenting every single video, watching me, give me a thumbs up. And then speaking to me on social media as well, which I, I, I really like. So until next time, guys, stay safe, take care.